hi guys welcome to our new video today we're going to learn how to fix a problem whereby if you press your f12 uh on esa machine or an n machine it doesn't what it doesn't record so what you're gonna do i'm gonna show you how to fix that so uh in case of that issue you let me let me show you some something so you you switch on your machine and uh, start pressing f12 uh you can see that uh it doesn't work i'm pressing f12 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 nothing works okay now until when i did put that so but now it jumps to this another screen the reason why it was not working it was because it was disabled so i'm gonna go to you saw it displayed there because I went to the setup settings before then I do something so we're gonna go back I'm gonna switch it off on and I switch it on when I switch on the computer you have to make sure that everything is fine so I'm gonna press F F2 to go to setup uh, F2 I clicked F2 so now we're waiting for the load so it loaded so when it loads you go to your what uh, first go to your boot boot sequence you make sure what the first boot option it has to be your cd rom then when you get into your cd rom uh, then you save with f10 after that you go back here and go to uh, main then you can click go here f12 is disabled you can see f12 is disabled so you must make sure it's enabled you click enter then you say enabled so f12 now it's enabled to press f12 you can do stuff uh, so once you enable it you can now press f10 uh, i see f10 f10 then you say okay once you press f10 then when the machine come back then you press f12 you can see it's showing now you entering boot what boot sequence so uh before it was not showing that because it was not give it was not enabled so you go to your bios then you enable that by clicking f2 but each and every computer everything uh they differ computers are not the same so in some computers you can click f2 other computers i don't know uh but uh it depends on the company of the computer or the laptop so now that's the reason why I'm saying uh, some things have to be. I wanna I wanna close something here. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Cause we're getting a lot of noise from next door, and uh, I wanna get this also locked here. Something which is not working here for me. Uh, okay, which is okay. Let me come back. Okay, I didn't go well anyway. So it's fine, guys. What we're gonna do is uh, we then select what we need. We're gonna select that CD ROM, uh, DVD ROM, CD ROM. You can see all those. Then you say enter. Once you click enter, you press enter, you're gonna see it should give us a chance to install. Then we press any key to install. Then we pressed any key. After that, it uh, jumped that. Then it starts. It's starting to to what to load Windows Seven. Um, you remember what we did? Don't forget what we did. Let's see if everything's gonna go well. And that's one of the tricks to say to 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 bypass if uh, your Windows your laptop doesn't want to 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 load Windows. It happens like the F12 key was disabled. I believe sometimes can be disabled by default or when you install a, a new operating system, then the system does disable that. So, but now, but now we do what? We do, we do what? We, we are going to, we, we trying to load Windows. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yes, we're loading Windows 7 on this machine. Okay, you can see now. Uh, 
we're good to go you can load that and say r to install okay you can select startup basic whatever you're gonna select uh, whatever you can select I want to see professional ultimate this is the best for me then I say next then I agree with the then say next then after that I'm going to uh, do what advanced I say format say okay after formatting that then I'm gonna go next I believe everything's gonna go well because we passed everything because the only reason the only problem was when I, whenever I could press a F F12 it could not work I could not go to boot sequence but now after going to my BIOS and uh, I do what I do what yeah now I believe everything is gonna go well it has done expanding it's, uh, it's now expanding getting there whenever I switch on a machine this machine is an ESA but as we said machines are not the same some to go to boot sequence you use the F9 some to go to boot sequence you use F10 some to go to boot sequences of 12 some F2 but now this one to go to to BIOS you use F2 so it depends on which machine you are using so but now find a button to go to to what to to set up which is bios once you manage to go to your bios it simply means it's going to be easier for you to do the setup as we did so make um f12 enabled so if it's not f12 for to go to 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 boot sequence it it's going to show you in that bios once you in bios once in BIOS, you're gonna see which button is disabled. So that F which is disabled is the one you're gonna make enabled to make sure to, to, to allow your machine to start what going to boot sequence. So I hope that guys helps and uh, the reason why we did this tutorial is that we try to install something in the in the in the what in the in our on our laptop then we didn't go well so that's why we say okay let's try to do a tutorial to show people how to activate that so another thing sometimes when you try to install especially windows 10 when you're trying to install windows 10 uh when you try to install up up downgrade from windows 10 maybe to windows xp it could give you a problem also it should not be sometimes the bios what the f12 stuff it could be that what they call safe mode. You have to see, check that safe mode and UA, UIF setup. So if you do those setups, you can activate and uh, you will be able to uh, install. Thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. This is Azania Tutorials. And if you have any tutorial you want us to do, you have to 
comment and uh, then we will do that don't forget to subscribe and also please do us a favor and uh, do click or press that bell thanks see you in the next video you can see we're sitting on 12% it means it's installing that's what we wanted thanks for watching see you in the next video